The prominent rainbow colors of pride paint the streets of New York City. In the East Village, the Pride Fest is in full swing with thousands of people of all ages and backgrounds showing off their loudest pro-Pride costumes and spirit. It's just very uplifting just to kind of see everyone come together for Pride. Kia Sorrento is a licensed nurse who's making sure New Yorkers not only have fun, but also stay healthy. Are we all vaccinated? Her team of daybreak health nurses administered the COVID-19 vaccine at a tent on 14th Street and 4th Avenue. We are uh, originally for HIV prevention and testing, but we kind of refocus our gear to COVID-19 testing and um, vaccination. As communities emerge from some of the world's darkest days, the nation's largest city turns Pride Day into a bright light at the end of the tunnel through unity and equality. It's all about getting informed and educated on, you know, LGBTQ or being an ally at least. You know, I think spreading love is like the main reason why everyone is here. The street festivals also provided a big boost to struggling mom and pop businesses, including urban pop hat store Aliens of Brooklyn. We've been through so much the past, you know, year, and I think that this is a great time for us to get back together and just, you know, have fun and celebrate inclusiveness. NYC Pride, what's up? While the Pride March resumed, most of it was produced virtually. The official theme is the fight continues. Organizers say it's about the ongoing fight for people throughout the LGBT community to push for what they believe in. The amount of love and atmosphere for just kind of coming together and celebrating originality and who we are is, is really inspiring.